guys, it's Maive and today we're making Harry Potter's extendable ear. Hope you like it. Start by conditioning flesh stone clay and shaping it into a flattish teardrop. As for the type of clay, I'm using Sculpey Living Doll in beige. But for most of the process, I'll be using sugar craft ball tools and as you can see here, I start by defining the main cavity of the ear first, followed by the outer area. It is easier for you to watch rather than having me attempting a comprehensible explanation of the whole process, so I hope you'll enjoy! Here's a previous ear I've made and as you can see it's not exactly the same. Every ear is different and definitely not perfect so don't be too harsh on yourself if it doesn't look perfect, it's not supposed to be. Bake for 10 minutes. Next grab a ball of clay and stretch one side into quite a long snake. Once the ear has cooled, dab liquid clay onto the back and add the piece we've just made, being careful not to squash the spiral. Blend the edges with a ball tool and your fingers. Create some textured lines and dips with a ball tool and soften them with your fingers. Bake for 20 minutes. Once cooled, add a bit of matte peachy red pastels. I make my own colour by mixing beige and red. If you'd like to hang your extendable ears, you could drill a hole into the back and insert a screw bail.
to camouflage the metal screw bail, you could paint it with flesh tone acrylic paint. If you don't have a pre-mixed colour, you can make it yourself by mixing white, beige and a teeny bit of red. And you're done! I hope you liked this tutorial, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video! Bye! Ciao ciao!